You know, I wish there was a way that I could show the IELTS examiner I have excellent pronunciation, but also give myself time to think about the answer to a question. Aha! There is a way, Phil. <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Whoa! A large man just appeared from nowhere. That was scary. Hi guys, I'm that large man. I'm Michael. <laughs> and I'm Phil, and you're watching the IELTS Grind. Remember to like and subscribe. So, right, it is something I, my students want to know. How can they sort of show the best bits of their pronunciation, their speaking, but also, you know, give themselves time to think? So, I'm really glad that you brought this up, Phil, because there is something that we native speakers do to give ourselves more time. If the examiner, or if anyone really, this can happen at any time, um, asks you a question, like uh, usually it's a bit of a difficult question that you haven't really thought about before, like um, tell me about the last time you went abroad. Then a native speaker, if they don't know off the top of their head, they can say, so you want me to tell you about the last time I went abroad? Yes, that's why I just asked you. <laughs> <laughs> See, now if you do it with the wrong intonation, it sounds really weird. If, you, if, I, if the examiner says, tell me about the last time you went abroad, and then you say, tell me about the last time you went abroad. That's no, 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 you're here. You're, <laughs> I, I speak English. You're, you're here to take the exam. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So we, we do this by having a rising intonation and we lengthen the end of the question. And this is all signaling to the, to the listener, in this case the examiner, that I'm thinking I need some time to think. And yeah. then while you're saying this and then a little bit after, you can think about what you want to say, organize your thoughts, and then go to town. Yeah. Another little point I would say that is the way you phrase it is so you want me to talk about this. So rather than asking yourself the same question, if you ask yourself, you know, what did you do last summer, you're a crazy person. Because <laughs> only crazy people ask themselves questions and then answer them. So this is an excellent way to buy time, but also show that you've got great uh, intonation. But you guys are probably saying, so what, how, how do I say this? What's the magic? Well, you've come to the right place. We have four steps for you guys to follow to practice using this. And then, of course, at the end, we hope that you modify the sentences we give you in the comments down below, and we'll let you know if you did it right or not. So the four steps that we're talking about today are, first, you're going to listen to the phrase, and you're going to write it down. We won't be showing you the text or what the phrase is on the screen. You're going to write it down. If you need to listen again, that's fine, but use a second color. The second step is we are going to show you the correct text so that you can fix your sentences. And again, you should be using a new color, a second or a third color here. The third step, we're all about stress. So you want to look at your sentence you've written down and mark the stressed words. So those are the words that carry sort of the content, the louder and the longer words. Finally, is when you listen and say. This is the last step, and it's very important that you do the ones before. But are we ready to jump into it? So you want me to talk about being ready to jump into it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. So this is step one. Again, remember, write down what you hear. Do not cheat. Do not look ahead. Do not turn on subtitles. Just write what you can hear. So you want me to tell you about the time I went abroad? So you want me to tell you about the time I went abroad? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about... So you want me to tell you about... So remember guys, you guys can listen to that again and again if you'd like, but again without subtitles and without the text. But we're going to jump into the second step. We're actually going to show you the sentences that we actually said, and you can compare that to what you think you heard. Please correct them in a new color. Okay. Now the reason we do this is so that you can start noticing the unstressed words that you're probably missing. like. Uh, that, and of, and the, and have, if you're doing present perfect sentences. Have? <laughs> yes, exactly, <laughs> have. <laughs> so it's up to you guys to be starting to notice this, because before you can say something, you need to be able to hear it. That's what these first two steps are doing. So you want me to tell you about the time I went abroad? 
So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about? In step three, what you need to do is you need to mark the stress. You can do this by drawing a little circle above each of these stress words. Remember, these are the words or syllables that are a little bit louder and longer than the other ones. If you're still a little bit confused about that, we do have other videos on this channel, which you can check out and we should have a card up there. But have a look at what we have marked as our stressed words in these phrases and compare it to what you put down. So you want me to tell you about the time I went abroad? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about? All right, guys. Step four is what you guys have been waiting for, the listen and say. But remember, those steps that we did before were very important. Step very three important. is how you get the rhythm of the language down. Steps one and two are to make sure that you are saying the same things as you're supposed to be saying. And now that we've done all that hard work, it's time to put it into practice. Yeah. So do not just skip to this step. You've got to do everything else beforehand. Otherwise, you won't see the improvement in your pronunciation. It's so true. And it's going to happen quickly if you do this. Also okay. True. So we're going to give you those uh, different sentences. You're going to listen to each one six times. The first two times, we're going to give you the text on screen. But after that, for the last four times, we're going to take the text away because if you're reading it, you're not going to sound as quick as you should do. So let's do that. Let's look at those examples for all those sentences. Here we go. So you want me to tell you about a time I went abroad? So you wanted me to tell you about a time I went abroad? So you want me to tell you about a time I went abroad? So you wanted me to tell you about a time I went abroad? So you want me to tell you about a time I went abroad? So you wanted me to tell you about a time I went abroad? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about a time I took a short trip to another country? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about my favorite high school teacher? So you want me to tell you about... So you want me to tell you about? 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 Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, that is fun, but also useful because this is a great way to show the examiner that you have good control of your pronunciation, which is very important. But also, it gives you time to think about the question and the answer you want to give to it. So make sure you do go back and practice this. But we have plenty more other videos about pronunciation that you can use. But you don't only have to use ours. We actually have another video that's all about how you can use Netflix and TV shows to improve your pronunciation on your own and experience different accents.、Mm. Uh, we have a video right over there that tells you six steps that you should do that will both improve your listening and, of course, your pronunciation. It's going to be brilliant. We'll see you over there. Peace. See you later. Phil always knows exactly what he's going to say. He doesn't need to stop and think. Yeah. So you want me to tell you about a time I went to brawl? Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs>